guys so for today's video we are going to be looking into who is lying to you about what and why we have three piles today one two three take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and if you guys enjoy this video please like share comment subscribe it really helps my channel to grow and it helps to spread these messages to others who could use them as well it's also a great way to give back for the energetic healing session I'm bringing to you today and another great way to do that is through donating to the channel you can find my cash app PayPal and Amazon wish list all in the description box below and I really appreciate anybody who does any of those things and anybody who's been leaving timestamps I really appreciate you guys too that really helps me out as well or if anybody has checked out my other channel D Storytime which you can find in the description box and you've liked commented shared or subscribed over there I really do appreciate that too all of those things really do help me so let's see for pile one who is Lying to you about what and why. So, we have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Dark Knight of the Soul just popped into my mind. Um, somebody is hiding something from you. Maybe even a relationship between two people that has been secretly hidden away. Um, somebody could actually be in the closet about something as well. About their sexual preferences or desires. Um, this could be an ex-friend. Could be an ex-partner. Um... Somebody is hiding some sort of passion that they have or some sort of um, feelings that they have are buried very deeply inside of themselves. Somebody could have even been hiding some of the things that they were saying or doing to you. There could have been some targeting energy here as well. Somebody also may be um, holding it back that they are receiving karma in some sort of way for the lies or the hidden actions that they had going on. Somebody may also even want to make peace with you in some sort of way, and they could be hiding that as well. W, somebody could be really worried about being exposed for something too. W, D, O, somebody could be being blackmailed as well. N, Dawn, Dawn's Market. We have a Dawn's Market here. Uh... <laughs> There could be some sort of gas station involved or some little marketplace. S, C, G, K, D, Q, M, Dom, Dominique, D, S, D, M, H, L, Y, Somebody could have some very large breasts as well. Don't know why that resonates, but it's here. Con. Lonely. Lock. Load. Some sort of water may be involved as well, like a lake or a river or something along those lines. Creek, Doodle, Home, Hawk, somebody may have had to pawn something. So we have people who care. We have give your fears and worries to a higher power. Somebody may hide, be hiding from you that people have reached out to them about you in regards to you because they really care about you. Standing on the edge of a bright new world. Mentally ill. Somebody may be hiding some sort of mental illness from you as well. Doormat user, calculating person, 
persuasive. I wanted to... Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I wanted to reach my full potential, and you were in the way, so somebody felt like you were in the way of them reaching their full potential. Submissive. They will finally release their baggage. It will be a tough journey. They wanted to protect you and keep you safe. They didn't want you to be hurt, and they knew how cruel this world could be. So somebody was lying to you because they wanted to keep you safe. They wanted to protect you. They didn't want you to be hurt by whatever you found out. They were keeping something hidden from you because they knew how cruel this world could be and how sensitive or emotional you were. Um, you may have even been very intuitive as well, which means... You could have been feeling like you were being gaslit by this person. Um, this person knew the secrets about somebody else around you that was very persuasive. Somebody else that was using you like a doormat. Um, somebody that was very calculated. Somebody was very calculated here. Um, you're a very submissive energy, quite possibly. We have Dom over here too, dominant and submission. Um... Somebody really felt like they wanted to reach their full potential and like you were in the way. They were very calculating in their actions, so they did something. Somebody could have even been lying and telling others that you were mentally ill. And somebody could have hidden this from you. Huh. So... We also have, they are doing illegal things to earn their money or their keep, relying on their good luck to keep them out of trouble. So somebody um, is maybe lying to you, telling you that somebody else is doing illegal things to earn their money or their keep. Um, and if you are talking to somebody right now that is telling you these things, make sure that you check and verify before you just believe them. Um... They also may be lying to you and telling you that um, they have a good job or they've really healed a lot. They're working on themselves and they're doing really good. And this person may actually be doing not so good. They may actually be um, out prostituting themselves or they may be um, selling drugs or they may be doing something that is really shady to be able to earn their keep. And they're relying on good luck to keep them out of trouble while doing this. And it could be that somebody may actually be lying to your face while behind your back they're spreading this about you for some of you. Black egg. Speaking your truth. Starfish. Regeneration. Renewal. Shallow people. You might be dealing with somebody very shallow. We have the Knight of Swords, the Devil, the Eight of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this person, um, whoever they are, they're trying to keep you from being able to see how valuable you are, how worthy you are, how amazing you are. And it could be that they're trying to keep you from seeing how amazing, valuable, and worthy somebody else is, how loyal, honest, committed, steadfast they are. Um, they may be trying to keep you stuck in a mental prison trying to keep you hooked on things that are not good for you, trying to keep you from expressing your truth, trying to, um, yeah, this person is a pathological liar. They're very addicted to lying about things. They're very addicted to, um, going after temptations. They're addicted to instant gratification. This person is really, um, feeling very stuck as well. Whoever this person is, they feel stuck and trapped in the lies of the world that they created. They find it very hard to resist temptations, but they may actually be lying about somebody else and saying that they have these difficulties, projecting those things onto somebody so that they don't come out looking like the bad guy in some sort of way. This person's very persuasive. 
They're very good at manipulating situations and getting people to believe what they're saying, coming off as very honest or authentic. And it's because they feel no guilt, shame, or remorse about the lies that they are telling, which means they can tell them without having any telltale clues that they are. This person may be trying to keep you stuck in some sort of constant overthinking or um, stuck in some sort of angry, impulsive energy. Or they could be stuck in some sort of angry, impulsive energy themselves and constantly overthinking things. I really feel like somebody that's lying to you is trying to keep you from having a regeneration of some sort in your life, though. That's the biggest, strongest energy I'm feeling here is somebody is lying to you about a particular person to get you to see them in a bad light so that you won't want to um, try to heal things between you both. And so that is what I have. For this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it, whether or not it resonates with you, what you might be going through, who these people might be, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. So let's see who is lying to you about what and why. Before we get started, some of you may have chose pile one as well, and if you were looking for a validation on that, there it is. So, who is lying to you about what and why? So we have Aries, Aquarius. Aries, Pisces, Aries again, Libra, hmm, somebody is trying extremely hard to cause difficulties in your life, they're trying to start drama, cause chaos, cause confrontations, they're trying to cause fights, they're trying to um, constantly have you fighting with those that you love and those that you care about, especially those that may be your family. Um, this person also thinks that they're right in what they're doing. Wow. Um, this person... This person wants to have the upper hand and is very jealous and envious of what you have how people look up to you, um, how you're able to solve conflicts, how you're able to bring peace to situations, how you're able to change the world and the lives around you. You could also be somebody who's very seen, very heard. Um, you're non-judgmental, open-minded. You have a lot of spiritual gifts as well. Somebody could actually even be um, lying to you about the truth of your spiritual gifts or lying to you about the truth of spiritual gifts of people around you something along those lines somebody may even be saying that they're very adaptable and flexible when they are very stubborn headstrong they're kind of a bully Somebody may actually be being bullied by somebody right now who's causing a lot of chaos or drama or conflict in their life and they may be lying to you about it so that you don't know what's going on. Libra, charming. Know that karma is going to be coming to this situation. I really feel like there's a strong call for karma and karma is definitely going to be coming here. B, E, be yourself. Z, I, Y, by, L, O, C, Koi, Cloy, Ploy, W, Z, We, O, J, Join, Joy, Lion, Y, Lion King, uh, not the movie, but the, the song. I haven't heard that in a very long time. I think it's a song. Lion King uh, is coming to mind. G-I-D-C. Either way, I know I've seen Lion King somewhere, and that's 
what's coming to mind? DNC, S, Port of Authorities, uh, Beguile. Somebody is very charming, charismatic. Somebody's very good at wrapping people around their finger. Somebody's really good at making others believe the storyline that they put out there. They come off as very believable. Giddy, giggly. Yin. Somebody's in a very motivated energy as well. Zone. You may be very much in the zone. You may be very motivated working on your goals, working on achieving things that are good for you. And somebody could be trying to throw a wrench in that, trying to stop you, trying to keep you from succeeding, trying to hold you back in some sort of way. Lock. Lucy. Dine. Sign. Side. Somebody's trying to get everyone on their side. And trying to get everyone to leave you out in the cold. Coldly. Gold. Goldie. Golden. Bold. Boldly. Emboldened. This person's very emboldened in their actions. So we have... Roses have thorns. Kind person, an outcast, every rose has its thorns, just like every night has its dawn, just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorns. So math genius, hardworking. Hmm. We also have growing and thriving from chaos and conflict. Bring your thoughts, feelings, and actions into alignment. Be, re be reliable. Walk your talk. Somebody may be saying that you are unreliable or you don't walk your talk. Or that your thoughts, feelings, and actions don't seem to line up. You are definitely somebody who thrives from chaos and conflict. Or people are lying to you, telling you that... I don't know. This one's really confusing. This person may be very confusing, which also could be part of the reason why they are able to pull off the lying coins. Jose, Josie, Logic, do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm batshit crazy having you on my mind? Do you think I'm helpless? My algebra gonna equal you every time. <laughs> Argues about everything, can't let the past go, unforgiving, unrelenting, always thinks that they are right. Sometimes others project. If they can't let it go, they blame you and always think that you are trying to fight. So somebody may be lying to you, telling you that you are somebody who is filled with conflict, chaos, and drama, or that you are somebody who is um, always fighting. Um, it's like they can start a fight with you and then blame the entire thing on you, and not only you believe it, but everybody around that witnessed it believes it. Well, not everybody, because there's always some people that are like, what the fuck is that person talking about? That wasn't your fault. I watched the entire thing play out. They started it. They sat there accusing of bullshit, and then they actually sat there and outed their lies right in front of everybody, and everybody still jumped on board their train. What kind of weird shit is that? Because this person's a very charismatic person. Um... It could also be that they may be lying to you about another person, telling you that this person is somebody who can't let things go. This person's somebody who argues about everything. This person's somebody who loves drama, chaos, conflict. They thrive in it and that they're constantly starting shit or stirring the pot. And really, it's this person who is doing that. They are constantly... um 
Yeah, gaslighting, manipulation. It's a very gaslighting, manipulation type of energy here. So we have this person was never raised, adult child. They don't really know right from wrong. So this person's doing this because they don't really know right from wrong. They're an adult child. They're busy blaming everything that they ever do on anyone else because they're worried about people seeing them as anything less than perfect. And because they're worried that other people are actually going to have, that they're actually going to have to take responsibility for something. Notice how kids never really want to take responsibility for something until they learn how. Well, that's what this person does. They want to push their responsibility off on everybody else's sounds like my ex. They have been suffering in silence. Repression always comes out in some sort of way. And so this person is somebody who instead of dealing with their feelings and their emotions and everything they got going on, they shove them all down into a box until they all break loose at the same time and they blow up on everybody around them. They may be very abusive in some sort of way. They may lash out screaming, yelling, hitting, um, blacking out is something that happens to people who do that as well. My ex actually had quite a few, had a couple moments where he had blacked out. Um, so yeah, they felt like they couldn't have happiness while you were happy. So this person felt like they couldn't have happiness while you were happy. They felt like um, if they didn't destroy your happiness, if they didn't lie to you or about you, I really feel like this person wasn't just lying to you. They were spreading lies, gossip, rumors, manipulations everywhere they went, and they tried to turn everyone against you while at the same time convincing you that you were just crazy because they weren't doing anything of the sort. I fear everything. Watching you do what you were scared me. I had to realize that it was time to let you go. So this person really was having a hard time letting you go. They were very scared that they were losing you. They were very scared that your growth was going to end up with them out in the cold. And so instead they wanted to make everything to where you were out in the cold. You're a very hardworking person. You have been outcast by people that were just cruel. Um, you're a very kind person as well. And you know what? I feel like this person normally is somebody who is kind as well and somebody that has good qualities about them too. But these are their thorns. You have your thorns. They have their thorns. And um, yeah, this person's afraid. This person's afraid and that's why they're lying on you and to you because they're afraid. They're afraid to face their truth. They're afraid to express their truth. They are afraid to admit their wrongs. They're afraid to take their responsibility and they want to push everything off onto everyone else around them, you and everyone else. They may be telling you that everyone else is causing so many problems, drama, chaos, bullshit, all this stuff in their life and really they're the ones making the choice to live a drama-filled life and they don't want to accept that because then they would actually have to take actions to change that as well scared that the secrets are going to come out and they will be trust me this <laughs> the karma is coming for this pile courage you have a lot of courage you have a lot of strength you have a lot of emotional balance you're also very mysterious um I feel like you made this person very afraid in some sort of way. This person's very afraid of the secrets coming out, of being exposed for who they are, of their shadiness, of their behavior, um, especially if you chose pile one. This person is very much so lying about what they're doing behind closed doors, lying about what's going on in their life, lying about how they're interacting with others. They are um, lying about... other people's actions and motives. They're keeping all of that under guard, under lock and key, trying to make out other people to be crazy or trying to make out other people to be um, shady, trying to make you out the same way to other people as well. Yeah, I had a feeling my ex comes out a lot as the king of swords. Six of wands. <laughs> Queen of cups. Yeah. Two of swords. So this is somebody who feels like they have possession of you in some sort of way. This is somebody who is very manipulative, somebody who's a gaslighter, somebody who's picky, somebody who is controlling, somebody who is um, very 
bad at giving recognition to anyone but themselves. They like recognition. They like success. They like the spotlight to be on them. They have a very giant ego, and they don't like anybody else to have recognition or success. Um, also, this is somebody you have forgiven multiple times. Somebody that... Um, this is somebody who's very much at peace with their decision to hurt you, I feel like, as well. Um, this is somebody who's lying to you about how successful they are and about how they've been abused in some sort of way so that you will have pity on them. Um, this is somebody who may even want your forgiveness, kindness, understanding, empathy, compassion. They're very cold, calculating. This is somebody who has watched you have success after a situation as well. If that's not the case, this is somebody who has watched you have success after a situation, watched you climb up out of the darkness, watched you um, face every obstacle, hurt, pain, sadness, loss, everything, and be at peace with the decisions that you have made. They have watched you really be able to work through your issues, your pain, your hurt, and have the courage to face things head on. And this is somebody who hides the things that they want to put out there instead of facing them. This is somebody who hides the things that they have to say instead of expressing them. This is somebody who wants to be seen as strong. Somebody who wants to be seen as emotionless. Somebody who doesn't want to be seen as weak or vulnerable or hurt. This is somebody who may be using anger to mask their pain or may be using um, humility of others or uh, jokes about other people to mask their pain or who may use gossip to mask their pain instead of facing things and expressing things. So that is what I have for this pile and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye bye guys. And you know what? Remember that all the things that you put out there help others as well. So sharing your story makes people feel like they're less alone. It helps them to be able to see things from different perspectives. And, you know, share your story. It's pretty much an anonymous place here. Let people know what's going on. Get it out of you and help them at the same time. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile 3. So, for pile three, let's see who is lying to you about what and why. Sagittarius, optimistic. Leo. Leo, generous. Gemini, intelligent. So... Somebody is testing you to see how intelligent you are. <laughs> For some of you, that could definitely be it. Uh, somebody may be in their pride and ego. Somebody may want attention. Somebody may want to be in the spotlight. Somebody may want to be heard. Somebody may be lying to you about how generous other people are with their time or attention or their intelligence. Um, somebody could be very two-faced. They could actually be taking the things that you're saying and spreading them around. They could be gossiping about you behind your back. They could be, uh, this could be, you could be dealing with somebody who is very charismatic. Somebody who's good at talking to people. Somebody who's intelligent. Somebody who, um, really has a lot of pride and ego. A lot of pride and ego. This need to be center stage and seen heard, noticed, this need to stand out and be different. Somebody is very optimistic and hopeful in some sort of way about something. Something they're keeping from you. S A T sat G, 
gas, D, L, lad, last, W, waste, P, Y, WAP is here, W, W, A, P, lap, yap, day, play, way, say, gay, Somebody could be lying to you about their sexual orientation as well. And they may actually be uh, dealing with one of your friends behind your back for some of you. You're the last to know for some of you. Uh, wasp. It's going to sting. W. P. E. Tape. There could be a tape that somebody's lying to you about as well. Why? Gee, somebody may be being blackmailed or uh, threatened in some sort of way. And they may be lying to you about it. I really hope that they get over that because you know what? Who cares what anybody thinks? Q, Q, U, T. Maybe somebody was exploring their sexuality. Taze. Equate, equate, sate, satiate, paste, dapper, dapper Dan, pad, tad, tasty, 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 D to the E. To the L I C I O U S. Um, that song's coming to mind. <laughs> Fiance. Calm person. Sexy. No heart. Me first. Me first, me first, go away. That's not the way friends play. <laughs> I watched a lot of I watched a lot of Dragon Tales when I was a kid. Work friend. I really like PBS. They have a lot of good programs for kids. Wealthy. A game of chance will pay off. Remembering your dreams. Friends' actions revealed. Hmm. What's funny about that is I actually had a dream about somebody being gay recently. Don't, under, don't underestimate yourself or others. I was so scared of letting anyone in. You're such a good person. I'm sorry. They trusted the wrong people and soon they will see their mistake. They didn't want anyone else to have your light if they lost it. So somebody is lying to you because they didn't want anyone else to have your light if they lost it. They trusted the wrong people and soon they're going to be seeing their mistakes. They trusted the wrong people. Um, they put their faith and trust in others over you and they lied to you about um, who they were with or what they were doing or um, seat, take a seat, leap, letty, welt. Somebody may actually end up getting beat up in some sort of way. Uh, yeah. They were scared of letting anyone in. You're such a good person. Sorry. So they were scared of letting you in. They were scared of opening up to you. They were scared of telling you the truth of what was going on. They were feeling a little bit paranoid. They were having some fears. They were uh, really feeling distressed. They trusted the wrong people. These people are blackmailing or manipulating them or threatening them in some sort of way. Um, they found out too late. Wow, late is over here too. Here for a good time, not a long time is coming to mind. Quality over quantity is coming to mind. Um, they may have trusted a work friend. This could be a work friend. Somebody could be wealthy and sexy but has no heart. They constantly only worry about themselves first. 
Or somebody could be telling you that somebody has no heart and they're selfish. They may be sexy, but money's all they care about. That could be it too. Uh, somebody may be lying about being a calm person. Somebody may be lying about whether or not they have somebody in their life as well. Somebody could be lying about who their fiancé is. Somebody could be lying about... Um, they could be lying to you about being somebody's fiancé as well. Glad. Gate. Gatekeeper. Wake. Wallet. Apple, the apple of my eye. You're my sweetie pie. Somebody could be lying to you about uh Yeah, they didn't want anyone else to have your light if they lost it. So they could have been lying to you about getting engaged with somebody or about getting into a new situation with somebody because they were unsure about which person they wanted. And they were also scared of letting you in. They really, you were really a good person. They didn't want to hurt you in that way. They didn't want to hurt you in any of the ways they did. I really feel like guts, this person has a lot of guts or doesn't have a lot of guts. Maybe you have a lot of guts. Maybe somebody has a lot of guts in the lies that they're creating or the stories they're creating. But these people trusted the wrong people. They let the wrong ones in. They told the wrong people about the things that they were feeling or thinking or seeing. Or maybe even they went after the wrong one. And now they're going to be finding it out too late. And they may have even went after the wrong one because they felt very guilty or ashamed of who they were. And like you were too good for them. They are weird, eccentric, a loner, and an outcast. Wow, pile one may resonate with you as well. They don't have any friends, and I know why. Making up stories because there is intrigue in your mystery. Attention comes with both good and bad. You can't escape it by hiding. It's still there at the end of the day. Don't listen to it. None of them know the real you. Those who do are very lucky because you keep a small circle and you could care less about shallow popularity. Once again, if you guys were drawn to pile one, go check out pile one. And actually, it may have been pile two that had the outcast card in it, but I'm feeling pile one very strongly. Um, so these people could have been um, lying to you about being your friend. And really, all they were wanting to do was be able to gain some information so that they can tell others about it. They also could have even been lying to you about what they were doing in the background. Somebody could be lying to you about somebody else as well. And this person could be somebody who spends a lot of time alone. This person could be somebody that, uh, yeah especially since they didn't want anyone else to have your light if they lost it. So this person could be lying to you about somebody that you want to have a partnership or relationship with. They could be telling you that this person's shallow, that this person has no heart, they only care about money, that they're eccentric, um, a loner, an outcast. They may be making up a lot of stories about this person um, because this person's very mysterious and Nobody really knows a whole lot about them, so they can get away with it, kind of. And at the same time, uh, I really feel like it's not true if that's the case. So we have the Three of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Two of S Wands and the Strength, the Bee, and the Swan. So... Somebody is mirroring your energy very heavily. Also, I feel like you are somebody who's very po poised, very dignified, filled with a lot of integrity, very calm, very pure, very beautiful. I feel like you are somebody who networks very well. You spend a lot of time around people. Um, there's a lot of people who know what you have going on or who are talking about what you have going on. Some people could be talking about you may have walked away from a situation, you may have chosen to get divorced, but still you're heartbroken over the loss of the situation, which is understandable because who wouldn't be if you actually loved somebody and you're not some cold-hearted freak, then yeah, you're going to be upset about losing the situation that you had, about walking away from it, even if it was your choice to do so. Um, people could be talking about how you have a lot of strength, a lot of perseverance, I really feel like there's a lot of people talking some good things about you and some bad things about you at the same time. Some people might say that you're cold, cruel, um, that you're a man-eater, 
And some people might say that you are a happy-go-lucky person who likes to celebrate life and who has chosen to go down a path and who has diligently followed through on this path. And some people may say that that's because you're after money. And some people may say that that's because you're selfish or you only, you put you first and everybody else is last on the list. But, um... Some of you, you really had to learn how to put you first because you were in a very toxic situation, especially if you chose pile two as well. Um, you were very in, in a very toxic situation and you had to learn how to stand up for yourself and set healthy boundaries and how to walk away from things even when it hurt because it was the best thing for yourself. When it's toxic for you, it's also toxic for other people involved as well. So somebody could also be, what are they lying to you about? The path they have chosen to take? Some of you could be, some of them could be lying to you about their marriage or what's going on in their marriage or what's going on with their fiance or what's going on. Somebody could have been lying about being in a relationship when they met you as well because they didn't want to cause you pain or because they didn't want, they didn't want to cause you pain over them walking away from somebody to be with you. That could be it too. Because they could have been worried that you would be upset that they walked away from somebody to be with you. When you look at this person, you can see a lot of your own traits inside of this person as well. I really don't feel a very strong evil energy from this pile so much. Some of the other two pile, the other two piles had a little bit more of an evil energy where this is just more. Yes, there was the heartless card here, but I feel like that's somebody lying to you, telling you that you're heartless or uh, somebody making you feel heartless or somebody telling other people about you that you are heartless because you have chosen to walk away from things that aren't good for you and spreading that around about you. And I really feel like that's a different energy than the one that is actually lying to you for the majority of you. So that's that really confusing thing is what I have for you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it, whether or not it resonated, what you guys might be going through. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.